I was working on my lawnmower and got to thinking about how springs in series versus parallel work, and how this affects the spring constant and force. I would also like to mention that I did a video a while back on the basics of springs. So let's first recall the formula for the force of a spring. It is the force equals the spring constant k times the displacement of the spring x. So basically, the larger the spring constant, or the more you displace, contract or elongate the spring, the more force the spring will counteract with. Below I have plotted a graph of the force on the y-axis and the displacement x on the x-axis. We can see if we plot the formula for the force from a spring of k times x, it is a linear function. Now let's find the equivalent spring constant for these springs in series. I have placed the spring constant in units of newtons per meter. This means that per meter of elongation or contraction from nominal, the spring will apply a resisting force in newtons. So for the blue spring, there are 31 newtons of force per meter of compression or elongation. The formula for the K or spring constant equivalent for springs in series is 1 over T equivalent equals 1 over T1 plus 1 over T2 plus 1 over T3. We can rearrange this to get what we are solving for, K equivalent to one side, and plug in our values. We get an equivalent spring constant of 8.1 newtons per meter. This value should always be less than the lowest spring constant value in series. Now for parallel, we will use the same spring constants to find the equivalent spring constant. We add up the individual k values. Plugging in our numbers, we get 87 newtons per meter for our equivalent spring constant k. Now we can use these equivalent spring constant values in the k times x equation to find the force from elongating or compressing a spring system. For the parallel spring system, this is assuming that the fixture is in place that can make all springs elongate or compress at the same rate. Same value for the x displacement. That concludes this video. Hope you have earned a like, share, or subscription. If you enjoyed this video, you may enjoy one of these videos as well. Let me know how I'm doing in the comments down below. Thank you for watching.